Hi, Brabant here. We're going to get straight in to how to use EasyVid today. So take a look at this. First of all, Google EasyVid. It'll bring you up with the EasyVid site, as you can see by the video. And you, you click on the editor and screen recorder, scroll down to the free screen recorder, and then scroll down to download. Okay, it's a free download, it won't cost you anything. Click on that, download it to your computer, run it, save it to file. When it's saved, you can click on the icon, it'll bring up your first screen recorder. Okay, there's a little help button next to it. You can title your video. This one's going to be Minecraft 1. And you can put a short description of the video that you're going to be making. Underneath that, you've got a selection of different YouTube categories that you can put your video into. And we're going to go for gaming. And if it's a Minecraft related game, you can put Minecraft in the description. Now, EasyVid has a huge variety of uh, NATO arts supported music. Uh, we'll go over the copyright and stuff for all that in a minute. So you can choose any backing track that you like to go over your video. Or if you don't want a backing track, you could go for Silent Machine, which makes some rather odd noises, but it's largely quiet. Or right down at the bottom, you can choose your own. So you can go into your music file, download whatever music that you've got that's not obviously going to be hit by copyright, and load that in, and it'll play in the background of your video. Now, if you want nothing in the background, total silence, you can download the silent mp3. So if you want to do a separate voiceover, or you want to record your Minecraft sounds, you can record or use a silent mp3 instead of a music track. So if you want to record your video noises from your Minecraft game, you'll need to use your laptop or PC mic, turn your volume up to full, and it'll give you your Minecraft sounds. Now, you've got the beginning of your video with the EasyVid logo. You can add text or pictures. So I quite often have a picture or something that brands my media at the front of my videos. And then a piece of text explaining what the video is going to be about. The text box has a variety of background colours, text colours and different fonts. You can choose whichever one you like that you think suits your video. Type your message into the box. And when you click finish, it'll save it for you as the next video file. So let's take a quick look at that. There we go, there's the EasyVid logo. Now this picture here, we don't want it a flat picture, we want to make it interesting, so we're going to click pan and zoom, which will make the picture appear to be moving. And then we have our text message. So there we go, that's the start of your video. You can make these boxes bigger or smaller, so if you've got a big text, you can make it bigger. If you've got a little text, you can make it smaller so that the frame doesn't last quite so long. So you've got your screen recorder, voice recorder, your text and your pictures, or your hotbar there. For recording your screen, you need to have your Minecraft open. And now we need to get the screen recorder ready. Now you can either start capture now, which will record the whole screen in front of you, or you can use the advanced screen capture. There you've got your microphone, your headset mode, your webcam, whether you want to be on webcam or not, and select capture area. Now I use that enabled because it allows me to draw the area of screen that I want to capture so I don't get all the stuff in the background of my Minecraft. So there we go, we're going to draw the capture area and as soon as that's been done, you get a 3, 2, 1 countdown, and it begins to record for you. So you can see in the bottom left-hand corner there, there's your easy access, pause, stop, and draw on your screen buttons. So you can pause your recording and restart it, or stop it and start a new frame. And here we are in the world. I'm just using a single player world that I was in a little while ago for the sake of this recording. 
You may find that EasyVid lags your game a little, but if you stand still for a while, give your PC a chance to catch up, it'll usually run okay. So we're just going to make a short recording here of this area. Pause the game. And then using the little spot recorder, we can pause or stop the film. So we've paused it for just now, and if we push the red record button, it'll continue to record again. And if you want to stop it, push the stop button, and it'll stop recording altogether, and bring back your EasyVid screen, and then it'll render your video for you. So you can see down at the bottom, it tells you how much of the capture it's going through at the moment. And there we go, there is our first film. Now if you get editing, it's come up in two separate frames. So we've got one long frame up to the point where we paused the video, and then an additional frame called screen capture one, which happened after the pause. So we'll check through the video, find out if it's interesting, whether we want to publish the whole thing as it is, or whether we want to cut some bits out of it. Now obviously, I don't want to publish a video with all this boring select world stuff on it. So we're going to check through and we're going to start chopping pieces out and I'll show you how to do that. So as you can see I'm using the arrow to move the cursor up and down so it speeds through the boring bit where the screens are loading straight into the proper film. Obviously we don't want the game menu coming up, things like that, so again that's another piece that we might want to cut out. Right, so into the editing. We want to chop off all this bit up to where the world actually appears for us to play in. So we move the cursor back very carefully. So you can use your cursor, your pause, your play button to get it spot on. And then you highlight the screen and you split it. When you highlight the individual sections, you get a little menu up and you can split the screen, speed it up, duplicate the screen or even delete it altogether. So that boring bit there, we're going to try speeding it up really, really, really fast and we'll see how that goes. And whoosh, whee, much, much faster, gets rid of all that loading screen. highlight the next screen and because that one's really dull we're going to speed that one up as well you can see it whooshes through it a lot faster so you can use that in between scenes, takes, cuts, whatever you like to move along your story or move along the showcase that you're doing. If you don't like what you've done, you can use the go back arrow. You check your editing, pause, 
maybe we want to get rid of that bit of text that's at the end there. So we can move the box in or out from either side. So I want to cut the whole of the end of that. So I shortened the box to get rid of that whole bit of text at the end. Which just leaves us with that final frame. Now that final frame as well. We want to get rid of it, duplicate it, speed it up, whatever we like. But in this case, we're going to delete it because there's no useful information on there. And there it goes, it's gone. If we didn't want to delete it, we can undo it, and it will pop back up again. So if you delete something and it's like, oh no, I shouldn't have done that, you can revive it. But for this case, we're going to get rid of it. Now, to make the end of our film, we're going to use the same picture that we had at the beginning. So we've duplicated it, slid it, clicked on it, slid it along to the end, make sure it's on pan and zoom so it matches up. We're going to add our final text at the end, saying goodbye, or the end, or thank you for watching, or like and subscribe. And we have the basics there of a finished video. If only you could imagine that the content in the middle is a little bit better. If you think your text box is too long or it takes too long, it's sitting there too long in front of you, you can shorten the box like I just showed you and it won't be up for so long on the screen. If you wanted to record your voice over this, you just click on the voice recorder and you can record a separate speech file which will come up underneath your screen speech file, uh, your video file. Unfortunately, you can't edit the speech file. Once you've recorded a, a voice file at the bottom, you can't make it longer, shorter, or anything like that. You simply can either have it as it is, or you can completely delete it. You can't work around the voice file underneath. So, imagine we're doing our final check of our video at the moment. We want to make sure that it's interesting, it's got something to watch in it, it's not too laggy or crashing or anything like that. go, we go to the end part, the final bit of text, and that's the video finished. And if you're happy with it, you can upload it to YouTube. Now, this is what I meant about the music. The audio files, the music that comes with the video, are controlled by NATO Arts. If you want to monetize your videos and earn money from YouTube playing the videos, you cannot use their music because you won't get paid for it. If you're just doing this for fun and you want to put your videos up just for fun, you're not interested in making money, anything like that, then go for the music and enjoy it. But if you find out later on that you want your YouTube channel to really take off, you want it monetized, then you'll need to record it with either a silent MP3 in the background or just your voice. So to log into YouTube, obviously you have to have a pre-made YouTube channel, which is free. You can make it yourself through your computer, put your own banners, logos, whatever you like on it. And EasyVid will automatically upload your video to YouTube through its own secure system. It will require your email address for your Google account. It will require your YouTube password and then mine requires an additional verification code sent to my mobile phone just to make sure that nobody else can access my YouTube channel. You need to click allow to manage your YouTube videos otherwise you can't upload it. choose the quality you want to upload in. If you've got slow internet speed, 
that the low quality is going to be faster. If you've got good internet speed, go for the higher quality. And then the program will instantly render your video and upload it to YouTube. It gives you a rundown at the bottom of how much the video is being rendered at the time. Obviously, I don't particularly want this one to go on my YouTube channel, so I'm cancelling it. And when we're done, we can either load a new project, or you can load an existing project. All you have to do is click on Edit Project, and it will bring your new project up for you, whilst saving the old one. So there's the Minecraft one that we just worked on, saved in our folder. If we want to load a different project, we simply click on the Edit Project button. This one, as you can see, has a small voice file for testing at the bottom. It's just me saying blah, 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 blah. But as you can see as well, there's no means of editing that voice file. So you can't speed it up, slow it down, or cut it into pieces. All you can do is clear it completely and do it all again. This is one of the reasons I chose my early videos not to do voice recordings and just to do the music in the background with the text in between the video scenes. Now, when the video is finished uploading, uh, it'll tell you that you can watch it on YouTube. So you bring up your YouTube channel, or it'll link you to it automatically, either way. Now here on the YouTube page itself, we get the chance to upload the video from your computer straight to the YouTube site. If you've chosen not to do it via the EasyVid itself, you can pick your files up and drop them straight in and YouTube will pull the file up. And you can edit the words and copy around your final video as well. So say for example you didn't like the title Minecraft 1, and you wanted it to be I set fire to Minecraft, then you go into your edit file for that video and it gives you the option to change the thumbnail which advertises your video at the front. You can even upload a screenshot or anything like that or a picture that you've made on Novaskin to use as your front sheet and you can edit the information. So you can edit the title, the description and the tags that you put in it as well. If you want other people to see your video, it needs to be on public. If you just want it for yourself, then leave it on private. If you want to monetize your videos, you need to have monetization enabled and you need to check out your own YouTube settings for that. And as I mentioned before, if you use the in the in-app music that comes with EasyVid, you can't monetize your videos. You can add your videos to playlists, or just have them listed up and down your screen. And that is basically how to get your films off, <laughs> off EasyVid and onto YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it was of some help to you, and I'll speak to you soon.